Hey everyone, this is a video tutorial for how to build the quintuple cuboctahedron. And what you're going to need are five groups of 12 uh, each uh, different kinds of subunits. So there's five different kinds and you need 12 of each kind. And they're basically all the same. Um, you use the same process to make them. The only difference is that they're different sizes. So here you have the smallest group, and then the next largest, and then the middle group, and then you have the second largest group across this row here, and I have more of them here off camera because I couldn't fit them all, and then you have the largest group here in the back, and again I have more of them on another part of the table because I couldn't fit them all on screen. Um, the process for making them starts off the same for all of them, but one small difference, um, and that's polarity. And what you should know is that the smallest ones, the middle ones, and the very largest ones are all the same polarity to each other. Then these ones, the second smallest, and these ones, the second largest, are the same as each other, but they're opposite to those other three. So as you go from small to large, it alternates. So you know you could call this polarity A, B, A, B, A. Um, so you need to keep polarity in mind when you're building these. But aside from that, they all start out the same way. And what you need is two straight pieces made out of two stacked rings of 10 magnets, two of those. And then you need one straight piece that's made out of stacked rings of 22, just like that. And then you want to take a short chain and remove the two center magnets there. So it looks like that. And on these, you want to remove one of the magnets out here on the points. And so you let this kind of sit like that, and you attach this right here in the middle, just like that. And you do the same with the other one. Then you're going to want to make a little square of magnets and add it down right on top, just like that. And then you kind of want to pinch here and it will kind of settle down into this alignment. And that is how you make the basic, uh, the joint. And now you need to adjust them to all the right sizes. So for the smallest one, and I was making this to become one of the smallest ones, you need to remove 12 magnets from each edge. So, each edge will look like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of them. And there you go. And that's how you make the smallest ones. Now, for the next largest ones, for these ones, you want to only remove six magnets from each edge. So, give me a second. Um, they end up looking like that. And again, you do that to all three sides, or four sides. And one extra thing you want to do for this one, and for everyone except the smallest one, is you want to take another square, these little four magnets, and you want to add it down right here in the center. Just like that. And you want to do that for all of them except the smallest ones. For the medium ones, for the middle ones, you actually just leave them exactly like they are when you're finished. 
and all you need to do is take a square and add it down underneath. That's the only thing you need to do for the group of the ones that are medium sized. Then for the second largest, you need to add six magnets to each corner. So that each edge looks like that. You do that to all four. And again, you want to add a square down underneath, like that. And for the very largest group, you want to add 12 magnets to each edge. So it'll look like that. And do that to all three edges. And then, just like with all the other ones, you want to add a square here underneath. Like so. And again, you need 12 of each size. And they're alternating in polarity as you go up. So, now to start building it, you take the small ones and you kind of bring the points to the sides like this and you push them together and they join like that and you keep going around and joining them together like that and it's a little bit awkward with this very smallest one but you just keep going around in this pattern until you've made a cuboctahedron. Okay, and that's the first layer. And honestly, the first layer is probably the most difficult just because it's so cramped and it's hard to get everything to attach right. So, once you've completed that, you take the next largest layer and what you do is you just set this down so that the square you put underneath here just sits right on top of that set of four magnets. So it'll just kind of sit like that. And notice it's not meshing together. It's just stacking on top. And um, you uh, just build another octahedron around this one using the same method and making sure they all stack down onto the corners. Okay, and that's the first two layers. And you keep, do the same thing for the third layer. Okay, that's layer three. Now, same thing for layer four. And finally, the again, exact same thing for layer five.
And there you go. That is the quintuple cuboctahedron. Um, and actually, it's pretty sturdy for something so big. Uh, but that's how you build it. Um, it's kind of repetitive, but the process isn't too complicated. So, there you go. I guess I'll smash it now.